This video has been produced by Pennsylvania's Office for Dispute Resolution. If you have questions or would like more information about this topic, or have other special education related concerns, please call the Special Education Consult Line at 1-800-879-2301. Decisions about special education programs and services for children with disabilities can be complicated and at times even emotional. Usually, any disagreements about a child's special education program can be resolved locally without the involvement of others. However, in some cases, more formal dispute resolution options must be used. State and federal laws for special education require that certain options be available for resolving conflicts about special education for children with disabilities. This video is about one of those options. The option is called the resolution meeting. What is a resolution meeting and when does it take place? After a parent has sent in a due process complaint notice, but before a due process hearing actually takes place, the educational agency and parents have a resolution meeting. The educational agency is the school district intermediate unit or charter school your child is enrolled in. The meeting is held within 15 calendar days after the educational agency receives the written due process complaint notice. The purpose of the resolution meeting is to give parents an opportunity to discuss reasons why they've requested a due process hearing. In other words, it's an opportunity to communicate and work together to resolve the concerns or disagreements about the child's special education program. Who attends the resolution meeting? There are several important participants. These include the parents and a representative of the local education agency who has been given authority to make decisions on behalf of the school district or educational agency. This person is often referred to as the LEA representative. The parent and the LEA representative decide who else from the IEP team has important information or facts involved in the parent's due process request. These individuals will also attend. Parents may also invite an advocate to attend the resolution meeting. Additionally, a resolution meeting facilitator may be provided by the Office for Dispute Resolution if the agency and the parents agree to the use of the facilitator. What about attorneys at resolution meetings? It's up to the parent to decide if they want to bring an attorney. If they do not bring an attorney, the educational agency will not be permitted to have an attorney present either. If the parents bring an attorney, then the educational agency may also have an attorney present. What is supposed to happen during a resolution meeting? While the law doesn't say how the meeting is to be run, it does tell us that the purpose of the meeting is for the parents to discuss facts that cause for the due process request, so that the educational agency has the opportunity to resolve these issues. Is the resolution meeting optional, or is it required by law? The law states that a resolution meeting will be held unless the parents and the educational agency agree in writing not to hold the meeting. The law also states that the meeting does not have to be held if parents and the educational agency agree to use the mediation process. Mediation is a voluntary way to resolve disputes between parents and educational agencies. It involves the assistance of an impartial and qualified mediator. Mediation is a free service provided through the Office for Dispute Resolution. What happens if the educational agency does not hold the meeting within 15 calendar days? If this happened, the parent can ask the hearing officer to go ahead and begin the due process timelines and a hearing would be scheduled. What happens if a parent does not participate in the resolution meeting? Reasonable efforts to obtain the parent's participation in the resolution meeting must be made by the educational agency. If by the end of the 30 days after the due process request was received, the parent doesn't participate, 
The educational agency can then ask the hearing officer to dismiss the parent's request for a due process hearing. Who pays for the resolution meeting? There is no cost to parents. The education agency has the responsibility to hold the resolution meeting. Unless an attorney is involved, the only cost for parents is the time it takes to prepare for and attend the meeting. Are the meetings confidential? Although the special education law includes information about confidentiality, it does not state that discussions during the resolution meeting are to be considered confidential. What if the parent and educational agency reach an agreement? If the dispute is resolved during the resolution meeting, the IDEA states the parents and the education agency must sign a legally binding agreement, which can be enforced in courts of competent jurisdiction. This written agreement includes signatures of the parents and the representative who has authority to make decisions on behalf of the educational agency. What if the parent or educational agency changes their mind after the agreement is signed? Within three business days of signing the agreement, either parents or the educational agency could withdraw from the agreement. In other words, the parties may change their minds. If this is the case, you may want to notify the other party of your intention. What can be done to prepare for a resolution meeting? Here are some suggestions for both the parents and educational agencies to consider. These steps may help contribute to a successful meeting. Take time to write down the issues and underlying concerns about the situation. Consider how to talk and listen in ways that will help each side understand the other's concerns and points of view. Think about questions that you might be asked and ones that you want to ask. Write down any information that you think is important to share. For example, what things have you considered when trying to find a solution for this issue? And finally, organize important documents and notes. What should parents do to get ready for a resolution meeting? Sometimes, parents feel the need to have more specific information about the special education regulations or their rights. There are a variety of resources available for this purpose. Pennsylvania's Parent Training and Information Centers are listed on ODR's website. You may want to speak with a specialist from the consult line at 1-800-879-2301. Statewide services such as these often receive many calls. It's best to contact them at least several days ahead of time. This is also true when trying to find the assistance of a special education advocate. So allow enough time to get these things in order. Practicing with a family member, advocate, or friend could be one strategy to use in order to feel prepared for the meeting. What should an educational agency do to prepare for a resolution meeting? In cooperation with the parents, determine who will be attending the resolution meeting. Set a date, location, and time for the meeting that best allows participation by the parents and other IEP team members who have information about the parents' complaint. Set up the meeting space so it is comfortable and conducive to discussion. Review the student's IEP and evaluation report. Review the parents' due process complaint notice. And finally, it's good to remember that even though there is a conflict to work through, there is also an important shared interest, the child and the important job of ensuring that they receive an appropriate education. By staying focused on this fact, the resolution meeting can become an excellent opportunity to learn about those underlying interests and concerns and to discuss options and solutions that may lead to an agreement. For additional information about resolution meetings, go to the Office for Dispute Resolutions website at odr.patan.net or contact the Special Education Consult Line at 1-800-879-2301.